All right, Sean, what mm. another beautiful sunset outside tonight, huh? It, it really was, yeah. I uh, I lucked out. I needed to go grab my phone charger, and I was like, boom. Very this nice. This is what we have here this evening. Yeah, this was just outside the studio. A little decaying uh, shower that we had to the southwest of Indy. Rain, impressive numbers here. Morristown, almost three inches. Had a report out of Yellowwood Lake in Brown County, over an inch and three quarters. Belmont, the same thing. Greenfield, over an inch and a half. And Bloomington, a good number down there too, over an inch and a half. Officially about a half an inch of rain at the National Weather Service office in Indy. We told you last night there would be a sharp drop off to the northwest and the rain amounts, and that's exactly what happened. This will be our best shot of widespread rain over the next week, but it doesn't mean we're done completely with rainfall here. In fact, we still got a few downpours. The air is very humid, and so it won't take much to trigger a stray shower or rumble of thunder tonight into tomorrow morning. We're in the mid 60s right now. Dew points just about to match those numbers, so it is a bit sticky out there. I want to show you the clock on future track 13. We've got a stalled front that's going to be over the southeastern part of the state. And with some heating in the afternoon, we will see these slow moving downpours and thunderstorms pop up. Probably will have some around the metro area, but if you get up to the north, it's likely going to be a mostly dry day. The greatest concentration of rain and thunderstorms in the southeastern corner of the state, including Shelbyville, Columbus and Seymour. Make sure you have uh, tabs on radar tomorrow. The odds won't be as great as today, but we're still going to be hitting these thunderstorms uh, through the afternoon and evening. Once we make it through tomorrow, then the rain odds go down, temperatures go up, and I'm telling you right now it is looking like an awesome weekend to get on the lake pool. Get outside, enjoy. It is going to be hot. It's going to be humid and very much like summer in the mid and upper 80s.